Hello there. Hello there. If you haven't seen my video uh, about why sh you should use free software, maybe you should check that one out first because it's kind of required for context. But what I'm wanting to say with the new one is that we should use free software, Libre software. And what I mean by use, I mean, if you're a Linux user, you're already using free software, right? It's, it's a given. Uh, but when you have a choice, like for for example, the everlasting question about when is Adobe Photoshop coming to Linux so it can replace the uh, so bad GIMP, right? Um, you should actually use GIMP instead, even if Photoshop arrives. And I'm not talking about your work. If you really need Adobe Photoshop for work, you are going to use it and there is nothing that I can tell you about that. I, I cannot make you use something that's not good enough for your work. So that's completely out of the scope here. But what I'm saying is that if free Libre software is good enough for you, you should use that instead of any proprietary software. And why I'm saying that? I'm saying this because if you if you switched from Windows to Linux and you are using um, some of your old uh, proprietary software that you just happen to find available on Linux and you're happy with that, for now, I think this is good. You need to have time in order to transition. And transition to what exactly? What I'm saying here. Linux is not an alternative for Windows you haven't switched from Windows to Linux in order to use your operating system in the same way as you are used to. Maybe you did. I'm not getting into that. But you shouldn't be expecting things to stay the same, right? And what I mean by that is Linux is about freedom. Free software is about freedom. And these two things are intertwined uh, in a lot of senses. So the way we use Linux, at least from my perspective and what my church is saying is that we should all strive to use free software. And if you want all the freedom uh, that free software gives you, then we're going back to that other topic when we should make it financially, financially viable for free software develop developers to actually live uh, from all that freedom that they are giving us. So in order to this life cycle uh, to, to coexist, to, to, to spin around and function, we should use free software, we should pay for free software and free software developers will continue to making good and better free software. So this kind of spins in circles. And if we give our money to proprietary software instead of using free software that's uh, plenty available for us, and I'm standing behind what I'm saying, uh, then we're not getting more free software. Then we are getting locked back into proprietary stuff, which basically takes away that freedom that we want mm. when we crossed over to Linux. So you see how that works, right? We should use free software as much as possible. I mean, think about which software you are using daily or maybe weekly, if that's if daily is too much. Think about, make, make a list, make a list of everything you use and see if you can find, uh, uh, there, there will be some proprietary stuff in, in your list for sure. There is on mine as well. So see, what can you replace? Replace just one thing today. Just one thing, replace it today for something that the uh, community is offering uh, as a good alternative that you have seen good recommendations for and see how that works out for you. And then maybe come back to this video in, in, in a month or two, half a year maybe, a year, and see how that went for you. I, I think that in the long run, if we try to push away proprietary software, 
in order to give a chance to uh, Libre software. And if you start paying for all this, I think in the long run, this could be really good for everyone because uh, the ecosystem is going to become more healthy. Let me know what you think about that. Thank you.